Убей! What's up boys? Let's talk spawns. Now, I know spawns aren't the most interesting thing in the world when compared to guns and PvP and such, but uh, I think you'll find that spawns can be quite important in Tarkov, especially on Factory, due to the fact that you could die in just a few seconds right off the spawn. I don't want to keep you too long, boys, because I know you're busy, you've got Tarkov to play. I'm going to break this video down into two parts, okay? So, number one, we're going to be talking about all the spawns you can get in Factory and the best way to play those spawns and react to other PMCs. Part two, me and my friend are going to do a couple of 1v1s showing you just how quick two spawns can meet each other on Factory. Again, boys, thank you all so much for the support you've been giving me. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, you, you, you know the deal. I don't have to insult you, just... Do us a favor. Just do us a favor. All right, I've taken enough of your time up, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so this is the gate three spawn. Uh, this is going to be one of those spawns that I utilize to get to safe room as quickly as possible. Uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to get there first before anybody else. You are right next to the glass hall spawn, which is pretty dangerous because you can meet your opponent in just a few seconds. Okay, so this is the glass hall spawn and one of the most dangerous spawns in factory. You can get instantly seen by the death corner spawn. They can jump over that flatbed there and peek you in seconds. And if you were to push out this way, towards gate three you can instantly meet the gate three spawn right there it's completely up to you if you want to take either of these spawns on but i have another option for you i would sooner push out here and have a little crouch here this will allow you to painkiller and you'll be able to listen out to if there's a gate three spawn or if a uh, death corner and then the breach room spawn start to fight each other so you can make a decision on what you want to do all right, so moving on to the gate zero spawn, I've got a couple of options for you. Option one being to push out and then move up and secure this staircase at the top here so that I can secure safe room. Uh, your biggest issue here is if you get a spawn on the gate zero side hall. Uh, typically, you're going to be running across and then you'll hear an audio cue as they scuff to move off the spawn. So you can instantly start looking this way to deal with that threat another danger here is somebody pushing up from the camera bunker spawn uh you can get somebody push here in a couple of seconds and meet you before you have chance to get across finally you have somebody that can spawn at gate one just around the corner here all right last option here if you're looking to move more safely through the map you come through here and this underground links to the rest of the map all right so we're here at the gate zero side hall so if you walk through here walk through that door down there you'll enter gate zero and this is actually one of those spawns that i advise you to do nothing uh the reason is that you have a spawn right next to us right at gate zero but i would actually advise you to sit tight uh watch down here carefully just sit tight for 30 seconds listen to what's going on who's moving where and then proceed through if you try and move out at the same time you are more than likely gonna get caught on a nasty angle and get taken down from over here or you might have somebody push up from camera bunker all right now it's time for the camera bunker spawn you've got some options here but if it was me personally i would be eating as quick as i can to try and beat the gate zero spawn up to safe room your biggest threat here is if you turn right that is your nearest spawn uh that is the gate zero spawn that can push down pretty quickly towards you so watch out for that if you didn't want to be in any immediate danger, you can either hold fire and listen out for people running over you, or you can come down this way towards silos. Alright, moving on to gate 1 spawn, you've got a couple of options here. Um, if I was more loot focused, I'd push out and turn right towards new area, jump straight down to the underground. If I wanted to focus on the primary plan of safe room, I would push out and then head straight up the stairs, bearing in mind that you're going to have a spawn right there. Uh, you want to come up here and then again, like before, make sure that you're ready for the potential push because it's likely that you're not going to be the first one to get up here. If your first protocol is going to be safety, then I would suggest you come here, jump over the railing, jump down, 
and at least you have the option to go in underground whichever way you please. Alright, next up is the breach room spawn. I call it the breach room spawn because you have the breachable door here. Option one, if you're looking to PvP, you're going to want to get up this hallway as quickly as you can. Maybe jump across before they get out of the gate. You also have the option of taking them on a bit more safely by jumping underground and pushing up here. But bearing in mind that they'll have heard you come and they're likely to peek you as soon as you touch the metal. If your plan is to move through the map safely though, again, you can drop down here and turn right instead and move through the map this way. What I really wouldn't do here is push this way through to new area. I don't know what it is, man. I just I just have really bad luck. I really don't like the cover that you're given. I would sooner just push through, drop down to the underground again, like so. And instead of carrying on through the underground that leads to the rest of the map, I would turn left and I would push up the new ramp here. The only other route really is these two doors that push out to the main room. If I was going to go this way, I would do one of two things. I would either come up here and then take cover behind here so that I could find out what spawns have come into the map. You can also push out and push straight up here to the top of the rafters. Everybody is going to hear you, but if you think you can pull something off, get an angle on somebody, then you have this too. Okay, now we're talking. This is the death corner spawn, one of my favorites in factory. If I did get this, I would immediately push out, jump over the flatbed, and then I would right angle peak the glass hall spawn. Uh, this is one of those spawns in which you can take somebody down in two seconds if you're quick enough. Uh, once you've dealt with this or if you hear danger from breach room, you want to then turn your attention, get up on this wall. Or if you hear them coming, get ready for the pre-fire. Um, they do also have the option, obviously as we saw, to go underground. And if they do do that, you get the benefit of them touching metal before they peek up. After the initial fighting though, I would more than likely push Glass Hall up to save room. If you were looking to navigate the map more safely, there's the underground. Next up, we've got the double elbow spawn. Uh, just for reference, that is the new area ramp. And we're next to the silos here in silo room, with the safe room being just uh, up there. This is another spawn in which I'd suggest to do nothing. Uh, the reason is, is that this is technically, I'd say, the safest spot in the entirety of that tree. So the reason being is that you have cover from both uh, both ways, from PMCs pushing you either here or here. Uh, you can listen out for other PMCs, maybe wait 30 seconds to a minute just to see where they go. The other option, if I had to pick another option, would be to push as quickly as I can towards the staircase that leads to safe room. Bearing in mind though that uh, you are more than likely going to encounter another PMC pushing you from here. Next up we're in the underground just below medical tent. Um, it's quite a rare spawn this, you don't get it that often. Uh, the threats being somebody pushing you from death corner and uh, breach room here. And then somebody pushing down the ramp off of the tent, of the medical tent spawn that way. But you're quite far from safe room so I wouldn't be looking to go that way but I'd probably just hold fire. Listen out to what you can hear and then move off when you feel safe. So we're just here next to medical tent. Uh, this is another rare spawn and pretty much my least favorite spawn in the game. I don't like starting a new area at all. There's a lot of a uh, chance of getting clapped from every angle. So going straight down the ramp here. And like we said before, just make sure you're aware of the underground tent spawn here. All right, last up, we've got the central staircase spawn. Uh, it's quite rare. You don't get it that often, especially as a solo. So um, we're right next to safe room. So as you can imagine, I'm going to run across, go upstairs to safe room. Just bearing in mind, though, that you've got the gate three spawn here that can see you pretty quickly. If you want to be a little safer doing this, just go up the staircase instead and then across the bridge and you'll get to safe room that way. All right. So we're here in factory, I've got Scorpion helping me out with the spawns and we will test how quickly we can kill each other. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, so three, Two, one, go. Oh, I almost died. <coughs> oh, yeah, my bag was empty. Go. Oh, 
I almost died. Okay, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Instantly one ball. Hey, yo. <laughs> Instantly one ball. Go. <laughs> Instantly. Three, two, one, go. Oh. I got you good. That was good, yeah. Go. Oh. Yeah, ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, I did not trace you at all. I didn't see you shift right at all. Go. So, three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm out, I'm out. Go. Go. Oh, I'm out, I'm out. That was Thank you very much for watching, boys. I know it's not the most interesting subject in the world, but it might just save you from dying in a couple of seconds, and I hope it was useful. On the next video in this factory series, we're going to be talking about PvP and PvE, how to take on scavs, Tagilla and such, and how to take on other PMCs, and different combat situations you might find yourself in factory. See you later.